everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it, Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. Nope, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google, and what's the hot topic for the day or the week. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment, and also subscribe. And also, Turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. I want to say, I think last month, some people were talking about Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is not equally treating all his children the same. It seems as if, allegedly, he's showing some favoritism to Lori Harvey. Lori's more so in the media, more so than his other children. Let's be very clear. Lori Harvey has dated this person, that person. Many people say a lot of things about that, but you never know. A person could just be friends with a person just hanging out and trying to get, a no, get to know a person. But it was being said that his other children from his previous marriage feel away. Now, mind you, Steve is married to Marjorie. They've been married for a long time. And you see the different photos when Steve is with uh, Marjorie's family and with Lori and they all take a picture. You don't really see where Steve is with his other children. And that may be that they may be doing their own things, living their own lives, in their careers. It, it could be that also. But everybody knows Steve works a lot. If you ever heard his schedule, it's crazy. Six in the morning, five or six in the morning, goes to work out does this show he's on this show for an hour or two then he takes about an hour break and then he's on that show for another hour or two and then he gets home around seven or eight o'clock at night and then he starts all over what <laughs> then he has weekends he is definitely one of the hardest working men in television period and remember how his story goes in regards to someone was he had said that he wanted to be on television and he actually got in trouble by his teacher saying, what are you talking about? I'm going to send this to your parent, dot, 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 dot. And he was like, why am I getting in trouble? Because I want to be on television. Make a long story short, they call his parents. And either it was his mom or dad that said, okay, why do you think you, fe you should be able to dream like that? And I don't know if it was the mom or dad said, yeah, you, you keep that in your drawer. You keep that. Don't let nobody tell you what your dream should be, what you should or shouldn't be doing. And Steve wasn't playing. Guess what he did? For years, once he made it, every year he would send that lady a TV. <laughs> For years, he would send her a television. And he said he didn't care because anytime you turned on uh, radio, I was on. Anytime you turned on Family Feud, I was there. Anytime you turned on the Steve Harvey show, I was there. He sent her TVs every year. <laughs> I don't know how many TVs he sent the lady, but Steve wasn't playing. You gonna tell me I can't do something? And then another great moment in regards to Steve is there was times he was really broke. Broke. Living in his car. He checked his voicemail. They had said something about, hey, I need you to get to the show. You got three days. Call us back if you want the gig. And Steve was almost ready to give up. And then he was like, let me check my voicemail. Got a call. He was to go to other, you know, this comedic, comedic spot. And that was only maybe two hours away. And he could do that. He could drive there. So he gets there. He, he does a great job. He gets paid for that event. Some of the people prior to him got booed. And the biggest thing is he was he, he was struggling, mind you. He was struggling. Steve was struggling. So he gets to that event and they told him, don't leave from this spot. Stay here. Around He said around 3 or 4 o'clock, he said he was starving. And then he came down and the guy was like, man, 
I told you, you got to stay upstairs if you got to stay here. He's like, I, mean, I don't have no money to get in a hotel. I need to stay here. He's like, okay, go get what you need to get, but you need to make sure you're back because if you're not back, we cutting you. Steve said he ran, got some chicken, <laughs> came back, and he was so nervous. He was so nervous doing the show because, of course, later on, the show was late. And then he's kind of said, I kind of got hungry again. Make a long story short, he did a great job. Some of the other people got booed. I think even Jamie Foxx got booed. Isn't that crazy? Steve did a great job, and he did that eye joke, and everybody laughed. So they actually invited him back. So he made that money, and then he was able to take this other gig doing the Apollo. Just giving y'all some one-on-one. -on -one. He did the Apollo, and he did that for years, and he was hosting. And everyone knows Steve did an amazing job um, at the Apollo. So let's get into in regards to Lori Harvey. One thing this is being said that what Steve taught Lori is to be that she's the prize. Now, mind you, you don't know too many young girls that are this famous that has dated or been connected with. But Lori mentioned in this video that she's been known to be connected with somebody and she didn't even date them. But the biggest thing is, everyone knows the last breakup was with Michael B. Jordan. They dated for about a year, year and a half. And then there was concerns because in the media, there was concerns about uh, Lori and Kim. Because Lori had already had SKN about a year prior to Kim having her SKKN. Very similar names in regards to cosmetics. So that was going on in regards to Lori the Kim Kardashian trademark issue. Then the other issue that was in the media in regards to Lori was people were saying, how do you stay fit? You look amazing. And then she had said that she only takes in like 12 or 1300 calories a day. And then she works out like uh, in the morning. And I think I want to say late in the afternoon or something like that. And she says she basically burns off all that, all those calories. So a lot of people kind of dragged her in regards to her exercise regimen. So I think she learned a lesson to keep a lot of stuff private. Because in regards to media, there are some pages that are just, they're weird. They're weird and they like conflict and they like drama and they like putting beautiful people down. It's just weird. And you see it and you hear it. And I have to turn off. Some of my favorites are, I don't know. But yeah, you could tell that people were just dragging her for just no no reason. Now, mind you, Lori's so quiet, she don't say much. So in regards to the interview with, um, she's in an interview with Adrian Ballon. Adrian Ballon. And they're talking. And the biggest issue is that Lori's been connected with different people outside of Michael B. Jordan. And she had cleared up the rumors in regards to who she dated. And let's just go through some of these pictures because it'll better, uh, you'll understand a little bit better. So, of course, Lori dated Michael B. Jordan. They looked amazing together. And then it was being said whether they were together for the right reasons or they're to boost their careers. Now, Lori did an amazing job in essence. She looks amazing. Her skin always looks great. Her hair always looks moisturized. And she always does a great job. She, Lori Harvey is gorgeous. She really is. Beautiful. I mean, her mom is gorgeous. Mother and daughter, they're gorgeous. They're family, gorgeous. The mom and dad, gorgeous people. So it, I'm happy for Steve Harvey. Many people had a lot of things to say. People do grow apart. So I don't understand why people can't be happy for Steve and how he's doing the, any doing things. And if it is true that his kids have separated, maybe they've separated themselves because Steve is such a motivator, but here nor there, and a hard worker. So let's go through the pictures. So that way I can paint the picture of what's going on. Okay, so we have... Michael B. Jordan and Dim Sum is actually friends. So it's been said that Lori Harvey is dating Dim Sum. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. So then you have Michael B. Jordan and Lori dated for that year and a half. Going to events, they looked absolutely gorgeous. Going to events, then it was being said whether Michael B. Jordan was cheating on Lori. But then they were saying the conversation... You know, she's kind of younger. He's 35, 36. She's 25, 26. 
and they basically he wanted to settle down maybe allegedly and get married and have him hand he recently purchased a house i want to say within the last two years the house is amazing i think i did a video on that but the biggest thing is i don't think Lori was ready to settle down but baby if she would have settled down with michael b jordan that would have been an amazing thing really because he's well known he's well liked he's well loved and i don't know if you know there's this kind of just do a whole story on Lori, Steve, and Michael B. Recently, there was a story in regards to a young boy had said to Angela Bassett that something had transpired with Michael B. And it really didn't. So, uh, of course, and uh, Angela Bassett got extremely upset. And then the young boy did get on saying, I apologize to Michael B. Jordan, to his family. And this is the one thing that younger kids need to understand. He could have said anything. Michael B. got married. He didn't have to say that. And I think that's where he gets it now. And especially how famous Angela Bassett is, it, it went viral in regards to what this boy said. At, he had basically said that Michael B., I don't want to say it, but they were saying he wasn't here anymore. That's, I'll say it that way, but it wasn't true. And you could tell that Angela Bassett was like gasping because we had already lost Chaswood Bozeman within the last three or four years. So the young boy, Mac, um, Angela Bassett's son, did apologize. Okay. So there's that. So Michael B. and Angela is actually, uh, Lori has been in the news a lot. Um, I'm sorry, Lori Harvey has been in the news a lot. So Lori actually did the cover of Essence. Amazing, looking amazing. So I'm not going to play the clip, but it, it's, it's her and Ang, um, Adrian talked about relationships. And Lori Harvey had said, that she's never dated and then this is all the guys together lori harvey had said she's never dated a father and son together and you could tell it looks like combs is being a little disrespectful you know how guys just push themselves up against you and she looked like dude just step back a little bit just step back a little bit now mind you combs brother is more her speed and her age there might have been a two-year different maybe but here and there they were all out gathering so in the clip, this is why a lot of bloggers, YouTubers, media personalities kind of get upset with interviewers because she was asked and she said, I've never dated father and son. I've never done that. So we don't know. And that's the problem. We don't know which one of these guys she dated. She's been spotted with both. And now, mind you, many people have a lot to say about Diddy. And my biggest thing is it's been for years this story, that story. Have you ever noticed in regards to music industry, how toxic the African-American music industry and what happens to these young men, how draining and toxic it is? That's something that people really don't talk about. That's not happening in regards to the movies. That's not happening in regards to country music. That's not happening in regards to um, uh, different music genres. It's sad that the african-american r&b rap <laughs> you know trap the stories that we're hearing in regards to a lot of these men passing away what in the world and why so i'm sure a lot of men are gearing away from the music industry because it is toxic it's toxic and it seems scary some are saying hey this person is worth more not being here than he was being here. What? And then allegedly some of these people are getting insurance policies on these guys. So that's the biggest thing. And then some try and blame they have to leave the community that they're from to be safe. What? They should be safe just to be safe. So that's the biggest thing. The music industry. And we wanted to talk about Lori Harvey. But what wishes to her? I don't want to play the video because I don't want to get a strike. I just kind of wanted to speak about what her and Adrian Ballon spoke about. They spoke about Steve, Steve telling her she's the prize. They spoke about Lori Harvey doing the interviews and they were like, oh, she did an interview on The Real. And she said, yeah, I speak. It's just, I don't like to talk a lot because people try and turn things around of what you say or do. And then, like I said, she spoke about, she never dated father and son. So many people are saying, okay, what was this? Because she was actually seen for dinner with Diddy. 
And many people are saying Diddy's using other people to keep him in the media in a good light. But here nor there, people choosing to be around him, they're choosing to be around him. So um, I think that was everything. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, so we're going to leave it as that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe. And let me know how you feel in regards to Steve Harvey working hard, spending more quality time with Marjorie family, and maybe, maybe when he's with his other children, maybe they don't want to take pictures. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But Steve is very outgoing, positive. Him and um, Marjorie do a lot of great things for the foundation. He tries to spend time with children on Father's Day. He does a lot of great things. So people, I feel like we love to be negative in a way. Even when someone's doing some amazing work in the community, they try and drag them for the smallest thing. And then remember, Steve had that little uh, fumble in regards to saying when they they announced you know, who was going to be crowned. He mixed up the names, but it might have been the mix up the card or might have been mixed up from the audio thing he was reading. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Lori Harvey clearing up the misconceptions about relationships, how Steve told her she's surprised, she's happy to be single right now, and who did she date out of these two? We don't know. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be around people that are strong, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Because you also have to check people's history of what's being said about them because you don't want your name connected to that. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.